Hey guys, I'm Alistair from Trail and Kale, and today I'm going to demonstrate the racer's loop heel lock method for doing your laces up. So come down here with me. Here is a traditional lacing setup. Here is a racer's loop setup. So, firstly, why would you want to do this? Well, number one, if you've got laces that are too long, like so, on the new Cloud Monster Hyper then you might want to do the racer's loop to make it nice and tidy and then you don't have flappy races. But the main reason to do racer's loop would be to lock your heel into the shoes. So if you look at this shoe here, my heel can slide out of here a little bit, which is fine for many instances, it's not a problem. But if you look at the racer's loop setup, it's a lot less slip going on there um, and my heel is really secure inside the shoe giving me more stability and support and that's really what you want when you're running. So let's show you how to actually tie your laces in the racer's loop setup. Here we go. Start by putting the right hand side of a lace into the right hole, the top eyelet here. I'm just going to feed it in and I'm going to pull it through so I've got a little loop here. I'm going to do the same on the other side. Pull it down so you've got a loop here. And then I'm going to take the lace from the other side, opposite side, go through the loop and do the same on the other side, through the loop. And then what you can do is tighten these loops down so that they're a lot smaller. Same here. And then proceed as normal. Do your laces up. You'll have less flappy lacing and your heel will be locked into the shoes. That's my top tip for today. If you enjoyed it, please give it a like and subscribe to our channel for running shoe reviews and running tips just like this one. Peace.